Hi guys how are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome to my channel Manwa Recap. We are continuing. From the previous video, if anyone wants to watch the previous video the link of that is given in. Description. Let's come on the topic. In the other hand there was a guy in the ship with mobile stick in his hand and he was saying that families, small gifts walking around, and friendship for a long time. This is, where the rich and famous of the whole of Haidong cannot sleep at night, the quota contest. The anchor, is risking his life to take a sneak peek. Then guards arrived there and caught him. Chen Badao arrived, there and said to guards, help him to play a little more real. Boy said no need, I will go now. Organizer, said to Chen Badao, I am sorry. Chen Badao said to organizer your majesty, I am sorry I have been. Negligent. It is too early to shout. Organizer said to Chen Badao, soon, you will be the second king with the different surname after the war wing king. On the other hand competition was also continued. Chen Badao was also sitting there in the crowd said that the war master advanced directly to the final. Xiao Lu was surprised by that decision of Chen Badao. Chen Badao said to Xiao Lu, if you are not satisfied, you can go directly to the ring to fight against the was master. Xiao replied to Chen, are you looking to spar with that person is like looking for death. Tain Long said, it seems that Xiao is completely satisfied. He began laughing and said, Xiao Lu has a good eye. Then there was announcement that, since Mr. Xiao has said so, we have no objection. Then I announced that master of war will directly advance to the final. He said to Zan, I would like to ask you to step out of the ring and wait for a while. Then there was announcement that and now for the second semifinal match, Mr. Chen from the Chen family will face Mr. Uyang from the Po family. Mr. Chen and Mr. Uyang came in ground for fight. Uyang said to Chen, I lost to you last time. I will beat you this time. Are you looking down on me? In order to defeat you, I have trained for a long time. Today, let me show you my new strength. Zan said to Uyang, those who talk too much will lose so fast. Chen said to Uyang, trash. Uyang replied to him, you, damn you. Let me see where you get your arrogance from. Spectator saw that moment and said, Ouyang has really made great progress. He stepped into the astral domain. The astral energy comes out of the body. What level of power has Chen Badao reached? Then a boy said, it seems that Chen Badao, I will give up his position as the number one in Haidong. Then grandpa slapped on the face of boy and said to him, what did I usually teach you? Boy asked to grandpa, why did you hit me? Grandpa said, Chen Badao eyes are calm and he obviously still has some strength left, did not you see it? He again slapped on the face of him and said to him, Chen Badao is familiarizing himself with Uyang's sword path. Then Uyang began attacking on Chen Badao with his sword but he missed it completely. Uyang was thinking that, why do I have a bad feeling? Then Chen Badao attacked on him, there was bleeding from the mouth of Uyang. Uyang began thinking that, damn, the injury is much worse than I thought. Zan was also observing that scene and said oh, interesting, it does not seem too boring. Uyang asked to Chen Badao, did you become an astral being? He was also thinking that, how can this guy improve so fast? He came near to Chen Badao and said, I admit defeat, I admit defeat. Then again Chen moved forward to attack on Uyang, Uyang said, that was close. I almost died. Chen Badao said to Uyang, rubbish. With your mentality, you can never surpass me in your lifetime. Uyang began thinking that, Chen Badao, I will make you regret the insults you have repeatedly made to me today. Then there was announcement that, in this match, Mr. Chen has won. He will against the war master in final showdown to determine the winner and ultimately determine Haidong market share. Chen Badao said to Zan, come here. Crowd began saying that, here we go, here we go. Wow. Zan came near to Chen and said to him, it is the final battle. On the other hand Mr. Tank asked to police woman, what happened? Damn it, how dare that bastard of the Chen family use some dirty trick. Police woman replied to him, when I arrived, the kid was stripping you. If it were not for me, you would have lost your virginity. Tank said, fucking bastard, I will kill him. On the other hand, there was announcement that, the final round has officially begun. Zan and Chen came near to each other. But they did not began fighting. P. 
People began saying that, hey, why neither of them makes a move? It seems that both of them have confidence in themselves. They do not want to make the first move, but they want to let each other make the first move. To better test the opponent's strength and weaknesses. Another guy in the spectator said that, I am running out of patience. Then suddenly Zan attacked on Chen. Chen Badao said to Zan, you have surprised me a bit. In the past few years, you have not only survived, but you have also become so strong. Zan replied to him, I want to avenge my mother death. How can I not work hard? Then fighting was start between Zan and Chen. People began saying that is great, brilliant. Zan said, the suffering I have endured all these years, today I will get it back to you. Chen said to him, how? I did not accept you to be strong than I thought. Zan replied to him, I am more powerful than you can imagine. Chen replied, to Zan, then I will show you what I am really capable of. On the other hand on the cruise ship roof, police woman was searching some other ship on the tablet and said this is the E family boat. On the other hand there was a great fight between Zan and Chen. Zan was completely dominant on Chen. Chen was very surprised and said what is going on. Then Zan punched on the ribs of Chen. Chen Badao, fall down. Zan said, that is it. Commentator was also very surprised by watching that scene. And said, what? One of the people in the spectator began thinking that, Chen Badao, who is the number one expert. In Haidong was beaten up by someone. War Master Zan is so powerful. He is so young, but he was able to overpower Chen Badao. On the other hand in the private room Qi Xiao was also watching the fight. Between Chen Badao and Zan and said, how is it possible? Father, how could you lose? Chen Badao, while fighting with Zan said, it has been a long time since anyone has been able to make me bleed. And, you are the first. Zan asked to him, do you still have a trick up your sleeve? Interesting. Then Chen, Badao came in anger and he threw his jacket away and he said to Zan, I will show you my full power. There was huge lighting because of fierce mood of Chen Badao. People began saying that, what a terrifying energy, Chen Badao is so powerful. He is completely different from before. Zan said to Badao, you are very noisy. Chen Badao said to Zan, Zhao Ke Aman who tassels Wu Hook Frost and Snow. Bright, silver saddle shining white horse, valiant as a shooting star, who can write your excellency, the white head of Taiyuan Sutra. Then Chen Badao moved forward to attack on Zan with his sword. Zan saw the sword and said, this is Taiyuan Sutra. Chen said to Zan, I did not realize that you knew about the Taiyuan Sutra. You are the only one in this world who can make me do my best. Do not let me down too much. Then Chen came forward to attack and said to Zan, can you avoid it? You will die. You will suffer the death. On the other hand in the private room Qi Xiao was watching the fight and said, Zan, you have been hiding for so many years, but you took the initiative to come here. Today you will die. On the other hand in the battlefield, Zan began laughing and said to Chen Badao, is that the extent of your power? He tackled the attack of Chen's sword with his two fingers. Chen Badao became very surprised and said, this is spiritual finger. Then Zan used his power and attack on Chen Badao. He punched on the face of Chen. Badao fall down in the front of Zan. Then again Zan came near to Chen and kicked him on his face. Chen Badao kneeled down in the front of Zan. Zan asked to Chen Badao, is that all you can do? As I said, I will make you pay the price. The supporters of the Chen Badao was very surprised. Because Zan was completely dominating the Chen. Qi Xiao was also very surprised and said, impossible father, Father you defeated. On the other hand police woman was busy in investigating Xi. Said, let the Yi family ship in one street Xi was in contact with the army of Zan. She said to the army, be careful not to let them find us. Army was in submarine. They replied to police woman yes. All submarines, warships and aircrafts, stay away and put them there. At the same time, do a good job in hiding and do not let them find out. Copy that, copy that. Police woman was thinking that, what is the Yi family doing here? On the other in the competition, Zan was saying to Chen Badao, are there any last words? Chen Badao replied to him, I should have cut off the root of the problem in the first place. Come on, do it, kill me. Zan replied to him, I would not let you die so easily. Then again Zan punched Chen. Chen fall away and said to Zan, 
you have ruined my cultivation. Zan replied to him, I will make your family go through what I went through. Your life is over. Then Qi Xiao ran toward his father and said to Chen Badao, Father, you have to hold on. And he was thinking that, I will take revenge for this. Grandpa was also there, he said, it's over my Zhou family is doomed. The commentator was also very surprised that Chen Badao was defeated. He was thinking that, the second king with a different surname in Haidong was defeated. Zan said to commentator, still no announcement. Then there was announcement that, congratulations to the war master for winning. Congratulations to the Wen family and the Lu family for successfully obtaining the quota for the Haidong wealth. Qin Chung was very happy and said thank you. Then police woman said to Zan that, someone from the Yi family is coming. I have arranged the defense line and let it in. Zan replied to her, good. Then Mr. Wen came there and thanked Mr. Zan. Ching Ching also thanked Zan said to Mr. Wen and Mr. Lu, you two can negotiate about the specific distribution ratio. I have something to do, I will go first. Then Zan saw that a man that was very strong, he was a member from the Yi family. The name of that man was Wuxing. He said that, it seems, that Chen Badao has been defeated. Defeated to this kid, Zan. Wuxing said to Zan, you were able to defeat Chen Badao, you are good. Wuxing came near to Zan and asked to him, do you know who I am? Zan asked to him, tell me about it. Wuxing introduced himself to Zan by saying that, my name is Wuxing, I am the member of the Yi family. This time the quota right of Haidong wealth, my Yi family will take it. Zan began laughing and replied to Wuxing, the Yi family had is a bit too long. Wuxing turned around and said to Zan, I only came to inform you and not to negotiate with you. The matter is settled. Zan said to Wuxing, did I say that you can leave? Wuxing replied to Zan, kid, you can beat Chen Badao, that means you have some skills. I, Yi Wuxing, am also a person who loves talent, so I spoke to you nicely. Zan asked to him, so you want to take over Haidong wealth, and you call this good advice. It seemed that the Yi family has been living comfortably for too long. Wuxing came in anger and said to Zan, you are looking for death. Zan replied to him, if you want to take quota of Haidong you are not qualified to take it. If the person came today, I was that old man Yi Jinyu, maybe I will consider giving him some face. Wuxin came in anger and said to Zan, how dare you insult my grandfather. He came forward to attack on Zan. But Zan tackled the attack carefully. Zan said, Wuxing is using the ancient martial art of Tongjian, good. Wuxing was also thinking that this kid is really strong, I am sure I can kill him if I fight hard. But that will cause too much trouble. It seems that I need to use the means of the Lord. Wuxing said to Zan, boy, you are indeed qualified to face me. He showed a badge to Zan and said to him, but the person behind the Haidong quota is not that Yi family but the war wing king. Police. Woman was also very surprised and said how is it possible? Wuxing said to Zan, I am sure you know what it means to be a winged warrior. Do you want to make an enemy of the king of heaven? Zan began thinking that it is true that it is the war wing waste plaque. Why is it in the hands of the Yi family? He said to Wuxing, of course not. The quota of Haidong will be given to your Yi family. Wuxing said to Zan, good. Then he moved forward toward his ship and moved away. Police woman said to Zan, Your Majesty, are you trying to set a trap to I catch the big fish? To find out the imposter behind the Yi family. Zan replied to her, You are right. It seems that the water in Haidong is getting deeper and deeper. He further asked to police woman, Do you think there is a problem within the Iron Riders? She replied, This is impossible. Zan said, if it is not an internal problem, then there is only one possibility. Someone killed a senior member of my Iron Riders and stole the badge. Let me take a good look at who really is this imposter. On the other hand Mr. Chen Badao was coughing and his another son Chen. Tianwei was also there. He said to his father, you have lost. Chen Badao replied to his, no I Chen Badao, I will never lose. Tianwei said to his father, admit it, father you have no chance to be the second king of Hyadong with the different surname. He came near to his father to kill him to squeeze the neck. He said, to his father the Chen family is the huge family, if a family wants to flourish, it I can never be done by one person. 
His father said to him, What are you going to do? Tian Wei squeezed the neck of his father and said to him, The Chen family needs a backer, a heavenly backer. Of course, the Chen family also needs a new leader, and now you are no longer qualified to do so. Chen Badao said to Tian Wei, You cannot do this, the Chen family cannot live without me. Tian Wei replied to his father, The Chen family can live without you. What the Chen family needs is someone who has the ability and strength. Father is not that I what you have been teaching me since I was a child. So feel free to go on your own way. With me, the Chen family will defiantly grow, and I am the one who will become the second king of Haidong. Then Yi, Wuxing came there and said to Tian Wei, I hope you would not let me down. Tian Wei replied to Wuxing, Mr. Yi do not worry, I will not let you down. You help to get back the right to distribute the wealth in Haidong. From now, you will be the head of the Chen family. Wuxing said to Chen Badao, you are usually useless. He said to Chen Tianwei that, Zan has a terrible grudge against your Chen family. So I will give you a chance to kill him. He gave a box to Tianwei. Tianwei was very surprised by watching that box. He said what is this? Wuxing said to Tianwei, it is the something that can help you kill Zan without mercy. Wuxing gave the box to Tianwei and gone. Tianwei opened the box and there was a key and a letter in the box. Then on the other side Wuxing came toward Lu and Mr. Wen for property. Inside the private room Wuxing was saying to Lu and Wen that, Do you hear my words clearly? Mr. Wen asked, 90% of it will be given to the Chen family. How can we do this? Wuxing said to both of them, What do you guys have to do with me? I have only come to inform you. I did not come to consult with you. Mr. Lu and Wen were very sad because there was order given to both of them to give 90%. Property to the Chen family, Mr. Wen said, Chen Tianwei asked us to meet him at his home in five days. Mr. Lu said, we just have to do it. On the other hand Zan was saying to police woman that, I never thought that. Chen Badao would eventually die at the hands of his own son. This is also considered retribution. Police woman replied to Zan that, this is his own fault. By the way your majesty, Chen Tianwei asked all the major powers on board to meet at the Chen house five days later. Zan asked to her, good, what is going on inside the army of war wings? Do you investigate clearly? She replied to Zan, it has all been investigated. A few days ago, one of our units was attacked, all of them were killed and all of their wings. Badges were lost. At the same time, all the war winged iron horsemen everywhere encountered different degrees of siege. Zan said it is interesting. It looks like a setup against my war wing, the Iron Riders. Besides the Yi family, who else is involved in this matter? Police woman said to Zan that, this is overly cautious and seems to have a good idea of our deployment. It seems that the king has a nail in the coffin. Zan replied that, in that case, I will pull this nail out. Three days later, I want all Iron Riders to assemble at Donga. She said, yes, by the way, your majesty there is one more thing. I think something is not quite right. The border has been in some turmoil lately. The death squad that we had fought previously has appeared again. Zan said, things are getting interesting. It seems that everything is somehow connected. Keep an eye on the death squad. If they try to do anything else, immediately organize the iron cavalry to surround them. She said, yes sir. Zan said that the storm is coming. Guys, that was today video. If you enjoy then please like and subscribe to my channel. Take care of you. Good. Bye.